Hey Word Nerds, E. Latimer here. Sorry for the beautiful pots and pans background, but I am in my kitchen, which is my usual workspace. And today I wanted to dive a little bit more into the writing process, uh, behind the scenes kind of look, especially for what I'm doing for Nano. My project is called Pretty Wicked Things. I know that some of you who are following along on Instagram have seen my updates about how it's going. And I wanted to delve a little bit into the process of what I do for outlining, particularly if I get stuck. So what's happened for me this Nano with all of our awesome, exciting word nerd sprints, I got really excited and just was like, I'm not gonna outline, I'm just gonna write the first chapter because I knew what I was gonna write. But the issue was I then wrote the first chapter and then I got stuck, which often happens to me as an outliner. If I do not outline ahead of time, I end up with a bad case of writer's block. So today I am going to show you what I have stopped to outline. I wrote, I think a full 10, no, 15 page outline, very messy, but I'm gonna show you the rough draft of it. So essentially what I've done is uh, I wrote a very, very rough draft. You can see all of my notes all of my scribbles in the margins. Essentially, I'm writing in new notes that I think of as I go. This one is a good example of what it normally looks like. It's just, you can see all of the crazy notes that I write to myself in the corners because I will go through the whole draft. I actually write a rough draft of my outline and then I often think of more notes as I go along and I'll put them in the margins. And then when I run out of margin space, you can see I've got a nice pink sticky note to myself. And what I do once I'm all finished, which I now am, I have just started to transfer. This is my series Bible. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be a series, but this is my book Bible, I guess. And so I'm transferring it over here with all the notes in the side and all of the wonderful sticky notes. I have just translated it all into something that I can actually read and uh, I've only got about two pages. You can see where I've crossed off the first page. That's like a full two pages right there just because it's it's chaos notes. And so what this does is allows me to see what my pacing is like to lay out every single chapter, all the events in each chapter. And then as you can see, just before chapter seven, I have the POV switch. So I can see each character, how much uh, page time they get. I was gonna say screen time, that is not correct. So I can see how much page time each character gets. I've got two switching POVs in order for me to make sure they get an even amount of time and you're not hearing from one girl more than the other. I also can keep track of all of my plot points in the same spot to make sure that drafting becomes easier that way, meaning less editing for me later. If I've got all the notes in now, if I've got all of the extra things that I think of, once I finish plotting it out, I don't have to go back into my actual manuscript and write them. I can then just put them in ahead of time. So like I said, less editing. So this is what works for me really well in order to not get stuck and not have a horrible, heinous draft once I'm finished that I have to edit for six years after that. So I also have in, if you haven't seen this one over on my Instagram, I'll leave an Instagram link below this video because I've got a lot more detailed uh, kind of posts about what I what I do. Um, I'm sort of detailing this entire process as I go on with Pretty Wicked Things, but I've got all of the character profiles here. So Holland Morgan, she's 17. What are her wants? What are her fears? What are her needs? What are her moral problems? What secret is she keeping? So because this is a reformatory school and everybody is sent uh, essentially because of something horrible they've done. Everybody has a secret. That's one of, secrets are one of the big themes of the book. So it's important for me to lay out every single character, every single secret, and how those secrets interact and clash with each other. Uh, so I have, I have profiles of everybody. I don't normally do that, but there was a big cast of characters with this, so it was necessary. And yes, there are spoilers uh, for when and if Pretty Wicked Things gets published. I don't care at this point. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I've got, you know, bookmarked uh, kind of just random notes that I'm thinking as I go along. None of them have actually made it into the plot outline yet because it was kind of just me 
brainstorming and I was watching a uh, Maggie Steelwater seminar slash class thing online and um, kind of making notes as I went along specifically for the manuscript I'm writing. So yeah, this is my super chaotic process. Uh, it really works well for me because I am a major outliner. Um, this is very MMV advice, I will call it, mileage may vary. If you are not a plotter and you're a pantser, this will not work for you. It will probably drive you crazy and you will be horrified at the thought of it. But for me, having a, an extremely detailed down chapter by chapter outline is something that really works for me. Oh, and I have colored pens. They don't go through the pages, which is wonderful. So I can have front and back and uh, every character gets a different color. So I'm switching between Evie and Holland and Holland is purple and Evie is pink. I will actually leave a link uh, to the colored markers as well because I have not used anything else since I bought them because they're perfect for both journaling and plot notes. And like I said, it's the only pen I found that doesn't go through the paper and drive me nuts. So yeah, I'll leave that in a link below and I'll leave my Instagram below as well if you want to see more details about the drafting and editing process of Pretty Wicked Things I'm pretty much going to document like everything essentially uh, which is something I've never done before so I'm very excited for it. How are your projects going? Let me know in the comments below. How is Nano going for you guys? Don't forget we have tons of write-ins on this channel. This Sunday we have a four hour write-in and we would love for you to join us. Our calendar is up on all of our social media platforms on Twitter and Instagram. I will also link those below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon.